all Spectralite QC light booths come with serialized lamps, which are traceable to the manufacturer's lot number and production date. When a lamp reaches its end of life, it's important to replace it immediately using X-Rite approved replacement lamps. We recommend replacing them in complete sets. For example, if one daylight lamp burns out, replace them both. Contact your X-Rite authorized dealer for a complete listing of lamps. To replace the lamps, turn off the power switch and unplug the unit. If you have a booth, remove the front panel. Release the front diffuser latch and lower it to the vertical open position. Let the daylight filters and incandescent lamps cool, and always use lens paper when handling them to avoid damage from the oils on your skin. We also recommend that you remove and replace lamps one at a time to ensure that each lamp is placed in the correct receptacle and matches up with the lamp name in the display. First, I'll show you how to change tungsten halogen lamps. For daylight lamps, holding the filter pack, push in on the fastener button and lower the daylight filter pack. Repeat for the other one. Push one end of the old lamp into the spring-loaded socket with enough pressure to release the other end from its socket. Lift the lamp clear of both sockets and dispose in an appropriate receptacle. Using a piece of lens paper, push one end of the replacement lamp into the socket. Insert the other end into the other socket and release the lamp. Do the same for the other lamp. For daylight lamps, rotate the daylight filter pack back into position and push in on the fastener button to secure it. Repeat for the other. Now, let's look at how to change fluorescent lamps. Using both hands, rotate the lamp one quarter turn and remove it from both sockets. Discard it in an appropriate receptacle. Install a new fluorescent lamp into the sockets. And repeat for the other lamps. Rotate the diffuser to its closed position and secure it in place with the latch. Plug in the AC power and turn on the power switch to begin normal operation. Reset the lamp hours using the R-Lamp procedure in the User Settings section. Now we'll replace the fuse. Turn off the power and unplug the unit. Using a flat blade screwdriver, push in on the fuse holder and rotate counterclockwise one quarter turn. Remove the fuse holder and discard the blown fuse. There's a chart in your manual that shows fuse requirements. Insert a new fuse into the holder, then put it back into the unit. Using the screwdriver, push in on the holder and rotate a quarter turn clockwise until secure. Before you can use your new lamps, you need to add their serial numbers in the relamp screen. 